All right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's disease is currently ranked as the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, um, but recent estimates in, uh, indicate that the disorder may be ranked third, just behind heart disease and cancer. Uh, as a cause for death for older people. So Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia amongst older adults. Dementia is the loss of co cognitive, functioning, thinking, remembering, and reasoning and behavioral abilities to such a, an extent that it interferes with a person's daily life and activities. Dementia ranges in severity from the mild biodestive stage when it is just the beginning to affect a person's functioning to the most severe stage when the person may must depend completely on others for basic activities of daily life. Um, the causes of dementia vary depending on the type of brain changes that may be taking place. Other dementias include Lewy body dis dementia, um, frontal temporal disorders, and vascular dementia. Dementia. Um, it is common for people to have mixed dementia, a combination of two or more disorders, at least one of which is dementia. For example, some people have both Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. So Alzheimer's disease is named after a doctor in Los Alzheimer's. In 1906, Dr. Alzheimer's noticed changes in the brain tissue of a woman who had died of an unusual mental illness. Her symptoms included memory loss, language problems, and unpredictable behavior. After she had died, he examined her brain and found many abnormal clumps, now called amyloid plaques, and tangled bundles of fiber. Um, these plaques and tangles in the brain are still considered some of the main features of Alzheimer's. Another feature is the loss of connection between nerve cells and the brain. Neurons transmit messages between different parts of the brain and from the brain muscles to the from the mu brain to the muscles and organs in the body. Um, so there's a lot of complex changes that happen in the brain with people with Alzheimer's, and that can lead to um, severity of symptoms as well. Uh, signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's are memory problems are the typical and one of the very first signs that comes up with people with Alzheimer's. Some people with memory problems have a condition called mild cognitive impairment. Um, and mild cognitive impairment is a little bit different and isn't as intense as Alzheimer's. It doesn't have as many symptoms as Alzheimer's, but uh, mild cognitive impairment can turn into Alzheimer's uh, in some people. So... The first symptom of Alzheimer's may vary from person to person. For many, decline in non-memory aspects of cognition, such as word finding, vision, spatial issues, and impaired reasoning or judgment may signal the very early stages of Alzheimer's disease. Researchers are studying biomarkers in, and to see if they can detect early stages of the brain of people with MCI and in cognitively normal people who may have a greater risk for Alzheimer's. Studies indicate that early detection may be possible, but more research is needed at this time. So um, Alzheimer's is not curable at this point either. So people can have mild, moderate, or severe Alzheimer's. It usually is a progression. So it turns in from mild to moderate to severe in most people. Some people can stay at moderate for a very long time and then all of a sudden turn into severe and then that's how it goes but for some people they can stay up mild for a really long time and then turn into moderate and then never turn into severe so um it really is different from person to person what causes alzheimer's scientists don't really know at this point but um there's a genetic component to some cases of early onset alzheimer's so that's when you get alzheimer's around the age of like 50 and um that is typically due to a genetic disorder as well. So late onset Alzheimer's arises from a complex series of brain changes that occur over decades. So uh, the causes could probably include a combination of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. The importance of any one of these factors in, is increasing and decreasing as studies go on. Um, and so people with Alzheimer's mainly comes in on their late 60s. So that's late onset and early onset as i said before occurs when you're around 50 years old um and the diagnosis of alzheimer's is pretty common um it's just a set of brain tests that they do to see your cognitive ability um, as i said before there's no cure for alzheimer's there are clinical trials that are happening but it's really hard to reverse something that happens in the brain so that's kind of where they're at on alzheimer's right now